Hello everyone. Um, I'm Miriam and this is More Than Organized Monday. And as I said last week, we're going to be doing a series of um, videos about the sacred money archetypes. So some of you know, I'm also a certified sacred money archetypes trainer um, and coach. And it is a method of using your sacred money archetype to help you navigate life both your money, um, but it ties in very closely with how you deal with your stuff. So I'm super excited because I use it with all my organizing clients to help give a shorthand to how we talk to each other about their stuff. Having the insight of how their beliefs and values and ideas and actions come together um, it, it, and knowing their archetype helps me figure that out. So I know what kind of solution to suggest that's going to make most sense for my client. Um, and it allowed us to have deeper conversations about some of the things in their archetype that they're not giving enough attention to. If it is a strength, we play on the strength. If it's a challenge, we try to overcome the challenge by setting up some new habits that, that use other archetypes that bring in some support um, and shore things up where you're weaker. So I love sacred money archetypes because of that. You can use them in so many different ways and it is about your relationship with money. So it also doesn't matter where you are in your income level. I had the same problems when I was making $8 an hour as I have now that I make six figures, right? It doesn't matter. It's the same situations that I overcome over and over and over at different levels. And um, knowing my sacred money archetype allows me to navigate that more easily. Um, and it just happened today. I was filling out a coaching form for um, the group coaching program I'm in. and realized that I have gotten away from being consistent and I was looking at why am I not consistent and one of my archetypes happens to be alchemist which makes it very hard to focus because it's all about ideas lots and lots of ideas so I called in one of my other archetypes which is ruler and was able to figure out how to make both work how do I have an idea and focus enough of my energy and attention to get to the next phase of my business to create um, a, a world where, where everyone thrives, which is all about the ruler. So I don't want to get too off track on the other ones because today we're talking accumulator. It's that time of year where we hunker down, we start getting cozy. A lot of accumulation can show up for people. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the accumulator archetype. It is the person that's the inner banker. So it's very focused on saving money, gathering money, saving money, gathering more money, um, piling it up. Think um, uncle, what's his name in uh, DuckTales? <laughs> the, the uncle Scrooge type character, right? Um, the person that knows all their money stuff down to the penny and yet you it's really hard to, to get them to spend any money. So it has to do with worry. There's a lot of worry with accumulators. They're afraid of running out. There's a little bit of lack. Um, and it has nothing to do with your parents being in the depression because all of us have grandparents or parents that went through the depression. Not all of them ended up accumulators in terms of gathering lots of things or saving their money in different ways. But it does have to do with that um, desire to live below your means, always take care. Um, there is a happiness, a joy even when you save money, it can be very fulfilling just to accumulate the money. And so you, you have to navigate that. Where's that appropriate level of saving versus hoarding or, um, being, becoming stingy with your money. Um, and to, to overthink purchases to the point where you lose out on opportunities, especially if you're an entrepreneur or want to run your own business someday. You have to be able to make business decisions, even when you're an accumulator that involve investing for the future. It's a little different. It's not just putting money in a 401k or, or a, an IRA because that's kind of easy for 
accumulators, although just a straight up savings account or a CD at the bank they already use can be easier for them because they feel there's, there's a connection there. Um, but I want to point out that holding on too tightly is what can cause the problem. So it's about learning to let go when you're an accumulator, how to respect that power of money so that you can invest in your freedom. It's not about what it looks like today, it's about what it's gonna look like tomorrow. And that can be a difficult thing to navigate. Um, and, and there's always a fear, an underlying fear. So luckily, you have some great skills and tools to use as an accumulator that you can carry over. Um, here's the card for accumulators, isn't it pretty? Lots of stacks, so many. <laughs> Um, so it's easy for you to save and it's easy for you to create financial independence um, and to be financially responsible. And that's what you can show others to do as well. You're very trustworthy. So people trust you already just because that's part of your personality. Um, and you know, you're probably the kind of person that people go to when they can't find something or, or don't know where um, to get something, you're going to know where to find it, whether you have an extra or <laughs> you know where you got it because you, you deal with the details of daily life as well. But you also shop on sale and you can buy a lot of extra stuff. And this is Black Friday coming up next week, you guys, and the sales have already started. And I want you to be aware that if you buy out of fear and purchase on sale, in case it's not available later, um, you might be missing out on the fact that you could be using that money for something else or to invest in something else. So just be really aware of, of do you need it in the first place? If so, then it's a bargain. If you didn't need it at all and it's just on sale, it's not a bargain. So start looking for that. Um, but also at a certain point, Notice where you can let go of things by using the things you already bought on sale and for the future and just in case and start using those up. Rotate. It's time to do a rotation, everybody. Let's get the older stuff out of the house and bring some new stuff in if you want to or just start using it up. You paid for it to be there to keep you from worrying about running out or from um, missing out. And so now is your time to enjoy the things you've already purchased. So as you look through your Christmas items, your decorative items for the holidays, look at what you already invested in in the past and know that any money you set aside to put towards repurchasing those things again this year, you can just roll over into a bigger savings or buy some crypto or something exciting this year and know that spending some of that money investing in how your mindset works around money might be the best empowering piece you can do this year. I don't know. I'm just throwing these ideas out there. And if you're an accumulator, it's great. But now that you, we know that you're already skilled at money management, why not challenge yourself to apply that energy that you use to um, track all that money stuff into learning more about how to invest the money? Wouldn't that be interesting? You're already excited about money and all the details. Just switch it from the saving to the investing concept and see what happens for you. I'd love to hear what you think about that um, and what you think about these videos going over the, the money archetypes. Um, I'm hoping it gets people thinking about it. You can find out more on the webpage, morethanorganized.net. Um, under my services, there's a tab for um, sacred money archetypes. You can find out about all of them. And over the next few weeks, I will be going a little more in depth with each of them. So, so far we did um, accumulator today and last week we did nurturer, um, just because those two come up very often, the things that get in your way around the holiday season. So hopefully you got some insight and some tips into how to better navigate um, all the aspects of your holiday by using your archetypes. All right, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'm always happy to answer questions in the comments, and I will see you next week. Have a delightful day.